Hey friends, welcome back. My name's Maggie and the only thing I love more than makeup is a little review of some products my subscribers made me buy. This video was originally started, I want to say in like a Black Friday video that I did a few months back. I believe I was talking about a potential Terra Moons haul and I remember getting so many comments saying like, you need to try the shade Cosmos. I think you'd really like it. It's a very maggy kind of shade, and that kind of sat in the back of my head, just sort of thinking like, as I eventually ended up purchasing the shade, like, wow, that's a product that my subscribers made me buy, and I really enjoyed it. And this kind of continued a little bit. Maybe I'd mention a product, and I'd get a bunch of comments saying, you should pick it up. It's so perfect for you. So I actually made a post on my community tab saying, what are some products that you think I should pick up? And I got some really great suggestions. I continue to get suggestions in the comments of my videos. Honestly, there were quite a lot for me to go through and I only ended up getting a handful of products just because, you know, inflation. But I did want to say that I really appreciate all of you who took the time to leave a comment and think about what I might like. Some of you left comments like, do you have any JD Glow shadows? Do you have any Glam Shop shadows? And I do, so a lot of these were prompting me to explore my current collection, kind of revisit products that had maybe been pushed to the side a little bit. Some of you all gave me really great products that I don't have immediate access to, but have stored in the back of my head for potentially a future purchase. And a lot of these comments were products that I was kind of hemming and hawing on and you all really pushed me over the edge. So the TLDR is I like all of the products that you all recommended, even the ones that I didn't purchase. I think it's so sweet that you all took the time to leave a comment and think about what I might enjoy. So I'm going to share with you all of the products that I have purchased for the specific video and uh, give you my thoughts. If you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. Let's dive on in, starting with the shade where it all began, Terra Moon's The Cosmos. Let's do a quick close-up so you can kind of see the brilliance of the shadow. So I have a full swatch and review of that specific Terra Moons haul. I'll leave it linked up above. But what I appreciate about this shadow is, well, it's kind of everything that I love in a Terra Moons multi-chrome. I really enjoy the formula. It's very flaky and piecey and pigmented, so you can really pick up on that shift. Um, this is a baby blue base. It shifts from a pink to a yellowy gold, to a neon green. It's very pretty. It gives me kind of like winter into spring vibes. I, I definitely get that impression. And it's, it's a very fun shade, very unique to my collection. I use it quite a bit because I just think it's pretty. All of you who suggested this shade for me, you were 100% right. This is quite a popular shade in the Terra Moons multi-chrome universe. I remember during Black Friday, Oh boy, getting this was such a bear because it was sold out of the immediate shipping but not sold out in pre-orders. So some angel in the Instagram comments of Terra Moons did point that out so I was able to get my grubby little hands on this and I'm very, very glad that I did. And while we're on the subject of Terra Moons, I did also get a recommendation for their Celestial Equinox Quad. Isn't that pretty? This, uh, it just comes as single shadows. This is just a little... Uh, quad I put it in that I got at Sally Beauty. This is an exclusive quad sold through Urban Outfitters and I remember someone saying like you know it has some really pretty shades they're kind of bold kind of out there I think you'd really dig it and you're right these two are some pretty intense beautiful shimmers and honestly I frankly don't have enough of that in my collection I'm sure you can relate and then this is a very PC duochrome kind of similar to Mac blue brown but with the Terra Moons finish and then this multi-chrome I guess you could call it like multi-chrome ask I really don't have anything like it in my collection it's kind of a greeny brown base that shifts to a blue and you'd think like Maggie don't you have a lot of those Turns out, no I do not. So I do have a full dedicated video swatching all of these out. One thing that I really like about this is that it is only $18, but I don't feel like it's a compromise in the Terra Moons quality. So if you were to buy, I think, all four of these shades, I do think the total would be a bit more expensive. With this bundle, you do get a discount, and I think for someone who is very new to Terra Moons, 
this is a pretty good way to try it all out. In fact, I was actually thinking of, um, mom don't watch this. I was thinking of picking this up for my mom because she's really getting into like the indie shadow multi-chrome duochrome game. I feel like this would be a really nice introduction for her. And I don't know, these are just really pretty colors. I do definitely get like the Celestial Equinox theme. I think that's very on brand. This shade Harvest Moon is like the most accurate color on earth. It is very Harvest Moon-esque. So I'm really glad that I got to try this. I definitely think that this partnership with Urban Outfitters, it's a great one for Terra Moons. Uh, the order was easily fulfilled. There wasn't any uh, real wait time. So I'm curious uh, to see how this partnership keeps up. I know this isn't the first collection. I doubt it will be the last, but I'd like to see what else comes of it. This next one, okay, some of these are in a bag. <laughs> uh, one of you recommended BH Cosmetics brushes. So because BH Cosmetics is in the process of being sold and all that, I actually got these for a steal of a deal. I purchased one blush brush separately and then a whole kit of these. Most of these I got for my mom. Again, mom don't watch this, but some I do actually have in regular rotation. So let's talk about that. First of all, the blush brush. Uh, this was the only dud. I don't really like this. I feel like it's just too small and flimsy for me to really accurately apply blush because something that I've noticed, especially with my more pigmented blushes, is it just kind of stamps it on. And then it's difficult to blend that out. But I will say it's uh, well constructed, nice and soft. So no complaints, you know, brush wise, it's just the usage that isn't quite for me. So the set that I purchased, it was originally called the Brunch Bunch set. I'll throw a picture up on the screen. And basically, like these brushes, you know, kind of that thicker handle, they are very, very soft. These are synthetic. I don't really mind using synthetic brushes. I think I only have one natural hair brush. Most of my brushes are uh, synthetic. Oh my, just the softest, softest brush that there is. So I think my mom will really enjoy these. Again, I do have a couple that are in my current rotation, but I think these are just, they're affordable brush sets for beginners. And they're the kind of, I think, good quality brushes that if you take care of them, could potentially last you a very long time. I do think that they're like they're sturdy. I haven't noticed any shedding with the ones that I have been using. So I really like it. I do think like some of the sets they can get a little repetitive and some of them you may be like that's more brushes than I might need. But overall I think this was a really good buy. I'd like to try more of their eye brushes. A lot of them were sold out on the website and who knows when they'll be coming back in stock but Based on just how soft and well constructed these are, I'd really like to get into specific like crease and blending brushes. And then while we're on the subject of BH, I know a lot of brand crossover here. You all told me over and over again, Maggie, you have to get the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette. So I did. As far as I know, these are all still available on Beauty Bay. I've seen a lot at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I got mine on Beauty Bay. And you know what? I see the hype. Every time I wear this in a video, you all have such nice things to say about my eyeshadow. It is quite a bold palette. It is not for the faint of heart. It is not for people who are afraid of blues and periwinkles and purples. And something that I've noticed, and I've mentioned this in other videos, but even the shades that you think will be neutral, there's a bit of blurple to them. So like even this gray, it shows up as like a gray purple on my lids. Isn't that crazy? So that's something that I've been getting used to. It's really a palette that is very much like out of my comfort zone because I'm just not somebody who wears periwinkle all the time, but this is sort of helping me find ways to use it because a lot of times when you have palettes that are these very bold colors, you can kind of be like, well, what do I do with it? This color story, I think, lays it out fairly nicely where you can see a lot of looks that you could do with it. That's made it a lot easier for me to kind of get some use out of this palette. I'm just kind of like, how could I wear this to work? You know, so if you have suggestions, leave them in the comments, but the formula is lovely, the shimmers are very pigmented, and the colors, despite being so intense, they do blend out fairly easily, so I like it a lot. And finally, oh man, the amount of comments I got about this palette. 
Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. I do have a full review on this where I swatch everything out, I attempt to dupe it, it went poorly because this is such a unique palette, it is hard to dupe. If you have a more extensive eyeshadow collection, maybe. I know there are some creators who have done that, but for me, not so much. Here is the palette in all its glory. I do have it on my eyes, and one thing that I've come to really appreciate about this palette is how great it is for one and done eyeshadow looks. So for example, I just have this shade all over my lid, into the crease, and on my lower lash line. That's it. You would not think that this palette would be a one and done eyeshadow kind of palette, but it's been so great for that. Or even just like eyeshadow, two eyeshadow looks, like I've used these shadows together very easily, these two also super easily, but the mattes, they just, they really blend themselves, they're super easy to work with, there's almost no fallout. So I've just been loving taking a matte all over the lid, into the crease, onto my lower lash line, and I'm out the door. It's so great for when I'm in a hurry but I still want to look put together. If I have a little more time, I might take a shimmer on my finger and just pat it all over the lid. But this is a surprisingly good palette for when you're in a hurry and you just need a quick little look. I know it doesn't seem like that. This might be more suited for elaborate looks, and granted, I have done those. But I am surprised by how much I love this palette for just something quick and out the door because the formula is just so easy to work with. The mattes are just, they're my favorite. I really love Huda's matte formula quite a lot. So it just takes the guesswork out of it and originally when I got this palette I was thinking of all the dramatic shimmery looks I can do so I'm kind of surprised that the reason why I like this palette so much is just for its simplistic kind of looks but it's really been doing that for me and I'm really glad that I have it. Alright folks well that is everything those are the products that you all made me buy and spoiler alert I love them all. I think these are such great suggestions. I'm so happy to have these in my collection. I'm just digging it so much. So something I wanted to ask you all, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, but were there any products that I made you buy? Did you like them? Did you not? I'd love to hear your thoughts because I think it would be fun to do a follow-up video with products I made my subscribers buy and what they thought about the whole thing. So leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, and uh, we'll see what part two brings. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.